Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Arte, seja bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal. E no vídeo de hoje são os melhores momentos dos jogos profissionais de CS. Eu sei que você curte, mas 70% das pessoas que assistem os vídeos aqui no canal todos os dias não são inscritos. É isso mesmo. Então, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, deixa o like. E lembrando que dá muito trabalho trazer todos os dias os melhores momentos, tudo mastigadinho pra você assistir. É bom, né? Então, deixa de enrolação, vamos ao que interessa, são os melhores momentos. Fui. Yeah, I'm gonna join you on this one. Okay then, well here we go folks, it's time to see whether the hometown hero can step up to the plate and whether Maus can make it past the Brazilian legends of... Two. Very fast it seems, up to the Aps position, they've got a couple of players in the CT defensive, of which they got spot out exertion, take him out with immediate effect, Cello playing a tune of success, but now it's the young gun to make his way up, Jimpak dives into the bomb site, gets taken out by Cello with the next headshot, Shue is at least there for a decent responsive, so advantage here for Furious still. Yeah, Cello is wary of the short presence, Frozen, of course, making some noise. Now his teammates will start to move. Shui into the bomb site. Takes a decent pop shot off towards Cello. He takes some damage, but him and Fallen are still getting the picks back in. Out of the captain to try and do the rest of the work. It's not going to happen, though. Mao's off to a rough start. The pistol goes the way. No fury. Oh, here's Mao's chance to get involved now. Torji. First man forward, and Cindy is sent towards him. He is blind as a bat to those flashbangs. Fallen with the orc pick case. Serata with the nade should finish off the casualty that he tried to take with the M4. And indeed, it's two men down on Maus. And this mid aggression works out super successful for at least the opening fight. Case Serato gets another one. Spams through the smoke there onto Jim Pat. Case Serato might even find more. He's being suppressed by that Molotov. The smoke towards under is going to clear, but nobody's there for the T side line. Oh. Should be a much harsher eco basis for them though, for Exertion and Frozen, with the loss bonus being where it is right now for the T's. We really want to try and focus on holding on to those. Oh, guns. Cello, how much can he find? That rotation in from Market gets absolutely nothing. Ark can lace trade back on Exertion's opening kill. The spray through the smoke with the traces being revealed. He's such low HP of Frozen. He can get one back to a three on three, but Caserato is a done. Jim Pack goes down. Open. Went very deep as well, so can't even use that back pillar. He's got a fight out from the bench, and now it's all on Shui here. One on three, an academy graduate. What can he find out of this position? He's checking all main points of contact. Isolate one frag and turn it into a clutch from there. Case Serraso is first. The drop second man spotted as well. On the defuse, they'll try and get the incendiary trying to force him out. Yuri and Fallen get on that bomb. Dive out's not going to be successful. Not with the HP. The charge for the mouse side. Very slow on a contact. AWP and an off angle aggressive towards Raph. Wins out that first fight. Barely a pixel against Shuei, but he lands it. And the M4 of Ark can find exertion on the short position. So once again, Furia. A couple of picks with backs being turned. Will it go any further than that? Yes, it will. Fallen finds Frozen, and that uh, ramp play been negated in an instant by the Furing through a very good first connection, followed up by a double. Furia in the moment. Mouse can wait it out. It seems to be a bit of an info play in the apartments from Cello. If they are able to catch a good timing, they might have all of the info to set up a backstab in from underpass and rotate the likes of R over to stack up A. Here he's caught by Jimmy. Advantage of Maus now. Flash is sent. Exertion can follow soon onto Case Serato. The AWP have fallen. Now finding pressure against his name. Gonna have to get out of there. Art is gonna get taken down elsewhere, meanwhile, and fallen. Can strike back to return one frag. But it's still a four versus two for Maus with the bomb going down. Now this is where you just look for exits. Hope to see some overextensions and Cello's at least been able to find one. I mean, a lot of people have been talking about pressure when it comes to Maus in terms of their tier one campaign since this academy project had come together uh, and, and became a tier one team ostensibly. Doesn't really have an angle to play with. The smoke will clear, so they might see something. Sure, you could actually find a return fight. Art does get dealt with. And Cello and Fallen can follow suit. Cello with those two picks in the apartment. So it seems like that bait and switch really, truly worked out for them. All five alive on the Furious side as they find number six. Well, if you were nervous for Mouse. Set piece into the A site. Molly's are sent to try driving them out of position, but Fallen is still hitting his shots. Jim Pat is the first to fall here. And Yuri's expecting more. Mouse will be forced to cancel. They're waiting for a backstab to come in from Connector Control. And I don't even know if they're aware of it here for the Furious side. Exertion sneaks in. Cello is going to get caught. Turn 180. Is there another player in vision? Apparently not. The Tech 9 is still going to find Case Serato out in the open. He's good for that one pick, but Shu is there for the trade. Fallen on sight. Lands another pick on Torji. The M4 of Yuri can drop the bomb carrier. And Exertion is dealt with last. They need to start to press on. Look back towards mid, though. There's more in the way. Shots missed out. But Case Serato locks in two. Frozen with a trade back. The AK needs to follow up, but he can't do so. And the AWP now. Fallen. Orc the Orc Jewel towards the right hand side. It's an easy one. It's another clean kill from him. It's 13th kill of the game. And Yuri is there to steal the last. 
scrape together a T-side and have that little extra buffer going into the CTR for things as Art is continuing to dominate, but Jimpat comes up with two. Okay, Serato finds that return, and Cello's been so stable out on this B-site previously. Exertion, is he ready for the quick pop out? The spray's oh. awkward for the CTAK, but it comes together in the end, and now he's aware of the apartments players inbound with a burst fire. One man on the site itself, there's Cello going down. Still got K Serato, low HP on Frozen. He's got to prioritize that bomb plant, but he peeks into the double up, and now it's Fallen's Orb versus two for the retake. Better weapons for a retake like this, but he's landed Shui, and now Frozen, low HP, a pistol would be enough. The foot's been seen as well. The swing back out of the AK. The AWP's unaware of it. And Mao's recover a third. That's something to be happy about. It's at least a positive note, Jay, but it's only one round to close the half. For a set piece already into that A bomb site. Shui's trying to get a headshot in. He's being forced back by those smokes. Blind as a bat against the apartments. Uh, sorry, palace place, I should say. Throws it in a dark. Dink down. Cello to full. Second player of Yuri is also involved in Torji. Can get a blind headshot. The CT is starting to bear down upon them, but Yuri and Fallen starting to get a couple of return frags. Such low HP for exertion, but the backup has arrived. How do they get the plant down? Do they want to try and get it down straight away? Do they want to fight out towards CT for Yuri? Gets a flash around the corner. It's back to a 2v2. With exertion being low as well, it's an advantage for Furia in this context. Even Jim has been tagged up. Exertion leaning in closer, trying to find a position to play with. Fallen has fallen back to hard cover. Engagement spots the man. Is he going to swing? Apparently not. Jim Pat's going to catch that casualty. Yuri reducing it all to the young Finn on the defuse. He's going to tap it and hold it with a kit all the way through to the pistol win of Maus. Oh, that takes guts. 1v1 and on half HP, you stick the full five seconds. Certainly aided by his support, aided by his orbing. Now the AK in his hand and asked the first man out. Frozen, caught Frozen a little bit. Does a ton of damage. And Torji now needs back up with the rest of his teammates to try and hold this bomb site. Bomb's not yet gone down. Molotov sent in Cello. Not on the side just yet. Shui finds a gap in the smoke, popping it open, finding a second man, but running out of ammo. Not like it matters though. Torji and the exertion from the bat lines come forward. Get those kills. We're down to two on Fury but they still look to fight. And they tried desperately to force out the Orc towards Triple and they just weren't able to do so. Torzi up against Art. This could be a difficult fight. Okay, Serato's backed up. Art has no choice but to press on and he presses into the Orpa. Catches a spray. The only fight you could have realistically won at 12 HP. Bombs in the open. The CTs know it. They don't need to keep on fighting this individual. We've got very little in the utility department as well. Okay, Serato's got to try and help out the low HP, and they finally got the vision of the two of them. Finally, Art goes down. Okay, Serato with a pick on the trade, though. Needs to get two more. Jim Pat and Exertion, one of which is known, the other man lesser so. Okay, Serato hearing footsteps being baited out by the Mal's aggression. Exertion swings alongside Jim Pat, credited with the kill. And the CT hype train keeps on running for Mal's. Make their move, the Deagle on one. It was the utility out and frozen, just swings for the casualty. Shui catches R elsewhere, down to three players. At least there's a trade or two, in fact, from the Fury account. So a three on three, exertion score off in mid. Aggression out in the open. Torji can't hit his orb shot. Down to 18 points of health, and the bomb goes down with it. It comes down to the young Finn of Jimpat to try and recover this scenario. Out here towards Connector. The util's just going to keep pouring in. Doesn't quite extend towards him. He struggled with the spray, and now he's burning, forced back out. Chance for Yuri to just cut them out of the round entirely. One points of health for that AK. The Orpa stands by. Is there a flashbang to get them out? Not against the first, but he misses that shot anyway. Counter nades might do some more chunky damage, but Art and Kserato in with the picks. Frozen has got to try and go for a kill, but no flash support leaves an open season for Furia. A little bit dicey going on over on that B site. If he starts to make an info play, then the whole round falls apart for Maus. Molotov's in, Frozen swings, Kserato punishes him for his hungriness. He remain starving for the rest of round 19. Swings out of the pistol, Shui trying to catch off Cello, but Cello can isolate him. Damage has been done, and Jim Pat just sits blind as a bat. Back up on the way, but now the walkout comes through, so there will be no A commit, there will be no bomb plan here. Mao's suppressed. Actually, there might still be... Okay, son. 
Here's your time to shine. Here's your chance to go thermonuclear against the Furious side and find an all-important eighth for Mal's one that will keep him away from map point. The orb has seen the shot missed out. Cello does get a trade with exertion, stands to attention. The spray's so awkward, but he comes up against Cello next. Two versus two. There's 20 seconds left, and the wraparound players from the B side are inbound now. They've got a pistol and an M4 to find, and time is continuing to tick away. A molly into the back. The CTs are staying hidden, and it's my might just be down to the clock alone to 5-7 on a swing. A chance right there, but they're not quite got it. They've got it in the end, and that's all you need for Maus. Hold on for long enough, get the kill after time, and avoid the map points. Question marks. Question marks have to be said in that round. The B side is open, completely open. Position. The Orpa of Torji in a corner in jungle, now completely smoked off. The M4 swings from exertion. Jimpa able to get the secondary kill and the double up against K Serato. Shui for the closer in the apartment. He's been pressured previously. Frozen's known and Cello swings for the kill. The AWP now heavily pressured as the lone defender, but he lands on that first. Cello up close, sprays through. Oh, he lands the wall bang straight to the head. We won't try and deny that bomb. Blah, but he's in for a triple and now Shui. Brings the cavalry with him to lock in the A defense. Art and Cello leaning forward, frozen, ducked out. He's not aware of how close they could be in a connect. He could be exposed. Art with one and Yuri with another. Exhaustion. M4 needs to hold back, but he can't get them all. And Fury have forced it out again. Maus could get beaten first past the post here. The Orpa Torgio, he's involved. He's caught one. He's bringing survival alongside Jimmy. Inbound, headshot, team the connector. The AK spray goes all over the place. And now it's all left to Torgi, the original call up. They reign supreme, but by a factor of two rounds, there is still comeback room for Mal's. They have to turn it on. Jim Pat, nade sent a little bit too deep. The CTs are going to have to deal with a quick charge up. Cello is dealt with his ex, ex uh, Caserato, I should say, making his way out. Jim Pat locks in the headshot. One more man up to face and to fall. Mal's hold the back line, Art and Fallen separated the bomb still to commit they don't have the info on where it is or where these last two players are either and art could find the back side to spray through the casualty on the one the swing to the orb part but they still haven't dealt with bench shui a chance and a half the kill found the spray's awkward but it comes up good and fallen close range with the awp two to five misses the shot he's such low hp but shui still falls and it's frozen the cornerstone the original member of Mao's low HP against the veteran one of the all-time greats. The Molotov might just secure it. Fallen ain't gonna burn. He's in the smoke. Frozen. Checking position. He's got it. Read the angle right. Oh, it's contact heavy. Oh, it's quick. It's very fast up to short. We haven't seen this before. Are they ready for it? Exertion might have to turn back. Ready for the flashbangs. Oh, but they're caught blinded anyway. Yuri with one pick back. Falling against Jimpa. And Shuri's all that remains. Back up is on the way. It's being cut off by Art, though. Shuri in with a frag. Only one frag. And Frozen has it all to do. There's such low HP in this clutch. It's still possible, but it's still a 1v3. Yeah, Art out here towards top mid. Should be a freebie. Frozen finally catches him. There's your first. Second and third required for Maus to stay alive in this one. It's gonna go market. Oh my word, it's a big old wrap. It's gonna take a fair amount of time. I think they might be wary of it though. Fallen has his eyes set on that market control. Frozen flashes at the ready and the shot just connects on the flick. And that sends us to a second map with an advantage for Furia. What a surprise. What an upset. And I think it shows, Jay, that first half performance, it was enough. Furia. Slowing things down until exertion can open things up. Fallen, first to fall. Cello has a decent line in towards their contact position. Are they ready for this angle? Yes, they are. Torji with a headshot drawn out. And certainly, these first couple of frags looking much better for Maus. Yeah, Frozen trying to maintain this mid control. Exertion helping out with the jewel he's to here towards Cave. If he sprints any further forward, it'll at least catch that info onto Art. Diving out of the way as the bomb tries to rotate in from that elbow angle. They're now making their way in over a donut. And Jim Pack can hear them effective, efficient.
And now ready for the headshots when they come his way. Caserato down, art faced upon, does manage to get a returning tray, but there's so much more CT presence here. And I don't even know if we'll get the bomb part, and indeed he won't. Exertion there for the closer. Late backstabbing from Fallen, depending on how slowly this retake comes in for. He might catch Exertion. Caserato's got Torchy for the smoke, and indeed Fallen can lock out Exertion. So advantage for Furia, but only by a margin of two points of health here. And Shui closing in on Caserato, does not have the range of that SMG. Jimpat does without Famasto. Frozen in from mid, cut down by Cello, and now it's all on Jimmy to clutch it. A fantastic recovery here from Furia. When you think about losing that opening exchange from Art out there to ramp, and Jim Pat at the big box, out towards default. I mean, even if he gets that one kill right, the time is so far. see some sort of hero and back up there against him. Art with a wall bank spray straight towards Shui, gets on it, the defuse being tapped and held, sprays Manic, revealing vision, but they can't quite get a kill back here. They do get off the defuse in the end, Case Serato is overwhelmed, Fallen back in with his own Glock kill, and I think he's stalled for enough time here. Indeed, he has four players go up <laughs> with the bomb. Oh, Prods, extremely passive from Furia. Cello on a walk, on a contact, out here towards B. Oh, I was going to get caught off as a lurker out towards the mid control, but you're right about this B here. Shui can only blind spray and hope for the best. This time, not much damage being done. Exertion being faced upon by Cello, who just gets that kill and immediately fallen down to 28 points of health. And he's done, I think, believe a Molotov that was thrown out there by Maus. Either way, HP advantage with the 4 and 4. What a cracking entry that was from Cello because they needed cave control. They needed to open it up. And they've still got quite a bit of util for the post plant. I wonder if they're going to keep this molly for the bomb plant denial. Frozen's closing in the backstab and they don't know about it. Shui leaning forward. It is being watched by one man. M4, Frozen leans in against Yuri, who gets that pick back. Shui on the bomb site, taps it, evades the spray. It's coming into the wall bind positions. Fallen's tagged so heavily, but Caserato reads the angle. Jim Pat can only get an exit because Maus are out of there to save their weapons once again. Cello gives chase to try to remove them from play. Might even get them both, only gets himself dealt with. There's two players remain alive for Maus. It's another one to go the way of Furia. Frozen and Ark close by one another. A smoke to separate them. And Ark wins the fight as it clears. Jim Park, next man oh, in in case yeah. Serato just domes him in. Five on three, Furia again firing back to get all the casualties. Torch trying to insert himself into the bat lines, but Case Serato mows him and his teammate down. Shui, all that remains. A walk contact towards A. Shui on that left-hand side, loses the fight. HE gets the trade. Exertion down, he gets another, and he burns to four points of HP. Tagged Yuri to nine, so he's done quite a lot with quite a little. Backup is slow to rotate here from Maus as well. The Furious Storm, the bomb site. They could very easily overwhelm these two. M4 on the low HP for Mars on the high HP. Cello facing in towards Torji, and finally a third man has joined the fray of Frozen. Torji getting two kills out of it. Exertion with another kill out of Yuri. And Caserato now versus four, known with that burst forward, but no time left to plant this bomb. And that was very close to just being a bomb site completely opened up. You think about Art's slight missed off. Smokes to try to block him off. Exertion might see this coming. The nade damage is going to assist him with the two kills onto Yuri and Cello. He's not quite done though. Art's next up to task. Smokes the Molotovs go back and forth. Caserato is good for the one. Exertion going to burn as well. So that man advantage they gained so effectively has now considered a couple of rifles back and damage from Torji. The blind spray from Caserato did so much. Oh, this is so workable. I can't believe this round is actually on after a 3v5. Jim Pat needs to go back towards A-Main, surely. Surely can't give away the information either. Molly sent, smoke down towards the CT position. Bomb tap once fallen. Getting caught off. The AK is all alone here. He's going to get isolated by the three man crossfire. Jim Pat now. Caserato engaged first. There's your opening. Incendiary back to the back of the bomb site. And Flash is sent in by the CT force as well. Spray back to do the double damage, but unable to get the kill on Fallen. And Stuck Fury. around to tank the damage for so long. Art swings forward and gets the frag onto Exertion. Shui can at least trade it. Yeah, one for one, and Cello's up ramp again. He's got teammates with him this time. Falling with a kill. Cello can double in. And they are being picked apart piece by piece. Maus, Timmy, and Torji just need to say there's nothing left in it. My goodness. Furia are different on the stage and in Finland. Head scene, shot not to connect. The backstabs will close in the pincers, but Furia, the real operation is nowhere near where the CTs are. And you think about the low HP in-game leader here, Shui. Yes, you might have the man advantage. This is a tough retake. This is going to be very difficult to recover. Torji is first up on the task. Flashbang, the off position. No vision. Molotovs 
suppress any further access from CT Spawn. Shui Nade fallen, caught off by Frozen. That's an all-important pick. Now down to two on the Furious side. Would that Lurker have been more important? Can they recover? They certainly Cello can. Shui down. K Serato holding over a tree scene by Frozen's position. Can anyone try and swing for it? Well, certainly Torji can grab off Cello. K Serato just stalling for time here. Versus two, tagged heavily, but Exertion goes down. He taps first. Nades come out, and Torji can get the kill with the USP. He's got the kit. Does he have the time? No, he doesn't. Furia, hold on to number eight. Maus, outnumbered in Espo, but not outclassed. Maus certainly are, though. K Serato, burst to the head of Frozen. 9 3, maybe calling again. Exertion, desperate to get something out of this position. He's not going to find the lineup. One man's made his way past that position. And Yuri just waits. Holds for the smoke to clear, for the man to be revealed, for the kill to find, and for the trade to be quick on the train. Yeah, Mouse needs multis from this point onwards. They need to try and find recoveries. Is it an info play? Is it a double up? It's so passive with the man advantage here from Furia. They're slowing the clock. They're trying to bait. Because they can. Okay, Serato isn't in the best of HP positions. Fallen, swinging forward alongside Torji. Shui goes down, and a spray lined up by the big vet. There's nothing that Jim Pat can do. Still quiet, still low on his frag count, still unable to get involved here and be the hero that Maus needs at this stage. A nine at three half for Furious. Up close and personal, and well, the T side right around him don't really know about it just yet. Jim Pat, the bomber's on his back and could be a risky position to hold here. Jiggle faces, flashbangs turned away from Yuri, just gets caught more blinded. And there's the opening pick from Shui. Okay, positivity to start. Torji snuck his way in from mid. Meanwhile, now in spawn, could split and backstab. The B-side presence could still be the execution. Cello has caught one of the trade. Oh, they're just getting scrambled right now. Torji's hearing a lot of these repositions out on B. Minute on the clock. They backed up. Rotation room can be bought for the players over on the A site. Cello holding his third. Flashed in. Two blinded. Both players taking tons of damage, but he's running out of ammo. Fallen's been taken down. Now there's one man left on the site. Cello with a good drive by headshot. A second kill comes in. And Frozen finally takes control. Should get the bomb down. Or can he? R has been heard. And Frozen takes that bomb right back out of the B site. Yeah, R's going to try and tail. And, you, and the likes of Caserado can at least come all the way on the backstab towards A main. They might not expect that. R's not expecting it. The shots miss out from the clock though. Plant is secured at least. Ah, sandwich. Exertion gets his kill at last. And it's Case Serato. Julie's in hand. Julie's up close towards A main, but they're going to try and separate the distance. One man seen, taps, can't quite secure the kill on Frozen. He's 15 HP, now he's dead. Exertion, a one on one to try and save Mouse's chances. Diffuse can get tapped. He's looking for his way, footsteps heard, tap again, Exertion, will he peek left, will he peek right, the shadow's been seen, the man has been spotted, Exertion gets his headshot, and that is what you need if you're Maus, a lifeline. Cello, hunting for his own pick in this exchange, but he's unable to see anything at all, they're spreading out towards lane, Yuri might be heavily pressured here, Arts SMG gets a pick out towards Elbow, and the Warbanks raise a Yuri, come up good with Fallen, similar story, Cello follows suit on Shui, and it's complete capitulation for Maus. They're just fighting from everywhere. The spams are coming down. They're going from ramp. They're going from shelf. They're coming up from Jeter. If you are Maus, I, I think they make the correct call. Frozen knows I need help and I, I need it right now. The problem is there is just firefights everywhere. That is pure chaos from Furia. Torji doesn't even get away with an exit. ESL Pro League, that was in CSGO. Haven't won one on CS2 yet. Yeah? Their main nemesis phase, the team that have eliminated them from all these tier one events are not playing here, Elisa. And of all teams, it's Fury to show up and try and shut them out. A, a team that Fury have really struggled against in previous history as well. They've done their homework. And they are ready to shut this one down. One pick for Maus found in this round, an M4 in the hands of Exertion. The change the perspective of Fury up. Exertion out towards Donut only gets damage. Fallen alive. And so is Jim Pat. One deal shot. Two not quite feasible. Given a lifeline of their first four and a half. Now gonna get shut down by Case Serato. Perhaps Jim Pat certainly frozen. Thawed out. 
And the AWP now looking for the trades back. K Serato is going to get dealt with. But Fallen falls back into Exertion's POV. He does find R, a 3v3 with the one man left of the defensive. Still trying to fight onwards here. Close quarters, flashbang finally catches him off. And Mao's force open the A site. And just when K Serato and Fallen look like they've done enough, Yuri out here towards Temple. Oh, towards he's going to give him the fight back to a 2v2. The bomb's going to get dropped in A, mate. Oh, Mao switch off. And Furia turn it on for the 13-7, for the 2-0. The hometown hero left in disappointment. An early exit, a group stage exit for Mouse. No playoffs today. Uh, this has got to be the toughest of losses for Mouse on land in CS2. Furia, though, that is a sensational victory. They are going to be. E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui!